Here I am in all my glory, Mrs. G rolling around in her new shirt that she had made from a t-shirt with raglan sleeves. Doesn't she look fabulous? Okay, now that I have my pattern completed, I'm going to go ahead and cut all my fabric out so that I have each piece that I need. Ready? pattern pieces. So I have my front, I cut out one piece and it's on the fold, so it's one piece when folded. My back is the same way, this is a fold line right here. I have my sleeve, which is not a short sleeve, I decided to add some length to it so I can make it three quarter sleeves is what I like the best because I'm always rolling up my sleeves and I need something that's not at my wrist. And then I have my neckband, which is going to go around my neck. And to me, it looks really small. I mean, I know my head will fit through it because it'll stretch, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to baste this one on just to be able to see if it's shorter than I want it to be. Do I need more? I don't know. And what I did, I took the neckline from all three pattern pieces, figured out how long it was, then I doubled it because this is only one half of the pattern. So you need two halves, right? So it's one half of the pattern, so I doubled it. And then I used two thirds of the measurement. Now that might be too small. I'm not positive. It looks too small to me. It might be tight around my neck. I don't want tight around my neck, but I'm not sure. So I went ahead and cut out two thirds of the size and if it doesn't fit the way I want it to, if it's too tight, I'll just add a couple of inches on to either, I will either add a couple of inches onto this band or I will just cut a brand new one out with a couple of inches added. But it'll give me an idea on how tight this is. So this ended up being 16 and a half inches and I added an inch for seam allowance and then it's three inches wide, which has been folded over. So that's the fold right there and pin together. So when I attach the neckband, I'll stretch it out and we'll see how it goes. But for right now, we're gonna set the neckband aside. We're gonna slip out our patterns and we are going to attach the front and the back. And the first step we're going to do 
is attaching the shoulder sleeves, shoulder sleeves, the shoulder seams. We're going to attach the shoulder seams before we do the sides. So it's always the shoulders and the sleeves first, and then we do the side seams. So the same steps apply here. We'll get going on that. Now this is a reminder, the pattern does have the front and the back listed on the sleeve. So we know the shorter side goes on the front and the longer side goes on to the back. Okay, so this is our front. We're going to apply right sides together to the front. So this one goes on this way. Okay, so there's our front. I'm going to sew the edges first on the shoulders. So I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance here and then we're going to attach the back piece. We're going to attach the back piece and then I'm going to sew those edges as well. We can get an idea of the fit and then go back and serge the edges so that it has a more professional look on the inside. And if you don't have a serger, you can always zigzag or do the over overlock stitch on your sewing machine. So I'm going to go sew that, attach the back, sew that, and I'll come right back. So at this point I'm at my sewing machine and I'm sewing together the sleeves to the body of the shirt. Unfortunately, I don't know if I neglected to film the rest of it. I'm pretty sure I did, but I can't find the footage showing me taking it step by step and putting everything together. Once you have the sleeves attached to the body, then all you have to do is sew the side seams, hem the bottom, and then add your neckband. You can see in the video that I had gone ahead and surged my seams, my shoulder seams, so that way everything would be nice and neat inside the shirt if somebody ever saw the inside of it. So what you see me doing now is adding the neckband. So you take the neckband, you sew the two ends together, the short ends, so that you have a circle. You fold the circle in half, which is what you can see in the video. The folded edge is going to be the edge that pops up, and you're going to sew the raw edges together. You're going to have to stretch the neckline to be able to fit it onto the neck of the shirt. And then when you have that done, you then do a top stitch tacking down the seam allowances so that everything lays flat. And then you hem your sleeves. Now I have a cover stitch machine and I ended up doing Picking, I ended up picking out the stitches on the sleeves and doing it on my cover stitch machine, which ended up being a lot better. And I would have done it for my hem, but I got lazy. I didn't want to pick out all the stitches in my hem to do the cover stitch. But next time I make this shirt, I'll do the cover stitch and I won't even worry about straight stitching my hem. Now that the shirt is all put together, I, there were some adjustments that I made. There was a gapping in the neckline, meaning my band that I used for the neck was longer than what it needed to be. And what it ended up doing was giving me a gap in the back. So I unpicked from shoulder to shoulder here in the back. I unpicked all the stitching that I did, shortened it by about two, two inches, 
shortened it by two inches, and then restitched it back. And now my neckline lays flat. I also fixed my sleeve. Originally, when I had it on, the sleeve was a little wider than I intended it to be. So I took two inches off of the sleeve width and shortened it to, to the armpit. And then I reduced the sleeve because it ended up being too long anyways. I wanted a three-quarter sleeve. And so right here by my elbows, that's where I wanted my sleeve at. And so I just trimmed that up as well. And then, of course, I adjusted it on both sleeves. And then my hem at the bottom, I'm not perfectly happy with my hem but I know what to do for next time. I've gotten lazy. I don't want to unpick all the stitching to fix it, but I will on the next shirt that I make. I ended up really liking this pattern. I like how it fits. As long as you get the right fabric with plenty of stretch, it's really comfortable. This particular fabric is really comfortable and soft, and I really like it. I like having the shorter sleeves long enough, but short enough that I don't have to worry about rolling anything up or when I'm cooking or crafting, getting crap on my on my sleeves. I will adjust the hem next time, but other than that, I'm really happy with how it turned out tracing from a t-shirt that I liked anyways. And my side seams are straight on the side. There's no warping on the side and everything fits like it's supposed to. So remember to give this video a thumbs up if you would, share this video if you could, and subscribe if you're not. If you have any questions, Throw them down in the comments below and let's try to have a conversation and I will see you guys in the next video.